There's this video's live, special, incredible, inferno, 40 Celsius plus. Sorry, weather forecast, UK, 23. Like this video, please a thumbs up on that side of the screen. Press that button. Titan the motor in this sort of scene, of course. Wow, you name it, county so locally in the UK, southeast southern England regions right now. It's approximately 18.01 p.m. in the evening. In Adel, that's one minute past 6 p.m. in the evening. And it is the, you name it, guys, Wednesday the 19th of July. It's over a year now. It was Tuesday the 19th of July last year, 2022. We had a temperature of plus 40 Celsius across the southeast and southern England. It was 39.3 around Charleswood, southwest of uh, London, well, southwest of London, Gatwick Airport, which is incredible. And it was 39.3 Celsius around Woking Town locally, which I did predict last summer, 22. I say 39 to 40 Celsius across the southeast of southern England and around Lincolnshire. I'm always 85% right. A very special anniversary today. It's been over a year now since we've had hot temperatures, believe it or not. Last year, we had, we had lots of heatland fires, we had a drought. And there was a host bike ban in place in certain parts of the South East and Southern regions, depending on what water country you were. If you were with Thames Water, it was pretty bad for you guys. And uh, it was pretty pretty extreme last year. Now, if you turn it out to this year, it's a lot cooler. July it has one in it, there's only been one or two hot days in July. Today it was probably like 25, 24 Celsius across the county, so locally. 30 Celsius uh, around about, I say, the 7th of July. That was Friday this year. It's been very cool summer. July 23, the share paid to last year's July 22 was flaming hot, infernally hot, yeah, very hot and flaming hot, and inferno hotness with temperatures of 30 Celsius or over 35 Celsius and 40 Celsius. It was incredible last summer. 2022, paid to summer 23, this shit's me all look cooler July, but June was the hottest part of the summer. I did say it'd be front low this summer, I did say it was a 25 to 35% chance we'd get 40 Celsius plus, 45 Celsius as we went in July 23 into August 23 this year. And on my forecast is going to plan as I predicted. I'm always 85% right. I would say next summer, might get those temperatures again of 40 Celsius or 45 Celsius. Yes, 45 Celsius next year or summer 2024. Of course, this county is so locally, it's potentially possible in July to August 2024 next year. We, we will see. This is long range forecasting, but I'm always 85% right about the weather because the county is so local in the southeast and southern regions and the southeast of Cornwall, Devon. I travel to places place around the, week, around the world globally, though, and across the UK. At the moment, it's very hot across Europe and Athens, I think it's going to be 44 Celsius. Uh, 42, I think, in Spain. It's very hot across Madrid. It's very hot across Spain. It's very hot across the southwest of um, North America right now. It's 50, I think 50 Celsius plus. It's very hot across the world well, globally. Climate change is not a myth. It definitely will. I wouldn't rule it out. I'm always 85% right. I did predict last year's summer hot Celsius was 40 Celsius across the UK. And I did predict the storm it's last year, a storm where well, you name it, Dudley and Storm, Unis and Storm, Franklin across the southeast of Southern I actually called Storm Franklin. Phantom Nenis storm. I couldn't wait for it to be named the storm. Net office are really rubbish forecasting weather. You want to forecast against metal storm as well? I'm the best man in the galaxy for it. No joke. I'm always 85% right. I see anything before anyone's predicted. And I'm talking about next winter, 24 February, high 25 Celsius, 28 Celsius by day across the county. So locally, it's potentially possible. Oh, yeah, I know it's crazy. Maybe 28 Celsius. This is climate change, guys. It will be hotter next year. This is what I'm predicting with Super Anemia this year. Winter's going to be very, very stormy, very mild. Very uh, ugly and very stormy. This is the autumn of 2023. Very stormy. It might be quite mild as well. It might be shitty cold snaps and frost as well to boot this coming autumn and winter 2023, 2024. But I wouldn't say it'd be that cold this winter of 2023, 2024 because the south. Yeah, 2023, 2024 because the south east. Some reason almost 85 percent right. We have been warned. Please subscribe to my show on Sunday gems. That's my friend's wife Kim Jimbo on the ITF Friday feeling. So here was race nation. Every Friday, three to five pm hour long. Angels at 1500, 70 ITF Friday feeling. So here was race nation. And listen to me. Lara show every Sunday, 9 to 12 here live with Jordan Matt on the Waking Station. Station. So I'm taking places, I'm dropping places on the race station live every Sunday and on Friday every two weeks on live and on there every Friday on the Sunny Hills Race Station. If you subscribe to my channel on Sunday Jones, the fourth speaker, we've got as much a video. Please subscribe to the channel on Sunday Jones. You've been one by hot weather. Bye.